Hello and uh, good afternoon to you. My name is Neil Pinkett and today's car is the Renault Grand Scenic and this is the dynamic model. This one's got the 130 brake horsepower 1.9 uh, DCI engine. Drives absolutely brilliantly. Very very good car these. There's a lot of good press about these and uh, I can thoroughly agree with them. Uh, drives absolutely beautifully. Nice sort of upright driving position plenty of space in this vehicle so seven seater and the tow bar as well so you could pop yourself a caravan on the back or a little trailer tent and make a really good holiday of it this one's just the one owner it's all hpi cleared uh, no outstanding finance no adverse history or claims etc uh, like all the other cars that we sell uh, just one owner from the fleet company and a full history which we'll go into later on now then uh, on this side of the car i've noticed that there is a light scratch to the rubbing strip along here it only goes on about uh, 14 inches on that one there and virtually two-thirds of this one but it's quite light it doesn't really show up that much um, you can all get some plastic preparation that, that could sort it out the front of the car is in tidy condition as well a few minor stone chips could do with the front new front number plates uh, got a little star break in it and the front fogs are okay and the front lenses and uh, yeah just a few light stone chips to the bonnet but then again it's done bit of mileage this one so you'd expect that anyway let's run around this uh this tire so michelin energy tire he's about um about 30 percent to go so quite warm to be fair the front pads have got uh, over half on them there and there's a small lip to the front disc but not too much michelin tire on the back here he's a bit better he's about uh, 60 percent to go i would say yeah about 60 percent to go and i think there's uh actually pads in the back plenty of meat on them and a small lip to the uh, rear disc right um, let's just pop the boot a second so hydraulic uh, gas struts on the boot there and uh, there's the seven seats in the back these seats just pop up and clip in very simple to operate or you just run it with the five seater mode with a nice tidy boot area like so there's a baggage cover as well for safety for your shopping and three inertia reel belts for the rears and all the other belts are so seven inertia reel belts in total obviously rear wash wiper high level brake light let's go and have a look at the history a moment okay welcome to the history section then for the grand scenic showing just one owner lease plan uk uh, registered 17th 1st 2008 so it will come with a brand new MOT CO2 rating 159 grams per kilometer color silver there's a spare key in the envelope and we have a service book and a service print from lease plan um, last service entry at uh, ooh, inspection to 102,000 miles done at Dale Central which is a main Renault dealer just looking down air conditioning is being recharged rear disc replaced at 50 going back a bit far but service print we have um, service stamps we have one two three four stamps in the book and it looks like it's uh, 17 40 61 and 80 but it looks like they haven't stamped it on the last service which is 102 on 04 11 2010 so there should be another stamp there from Dales but we can always get them to uh, stamp it up okay um, so service book, service print, spare key, B5, new MOT supplied with the car. Okay, this tyre here, uh, again about 30% uh, worn, so plenty of meat to go. Electric windows, all round, blinds in the back. These seats, I believe, can be taken out entirely, all these three seats here, which are all in very nice condition, absolutely spot on. Um, Isofix belts in the back here again, the headlining's in good order. The car smells nice and fresh as well. And the back of the seats and the picnic tables are all in really good order. Okay, yeah, it's difficult to portray the, the freshness, but yeah, it's certainly a nice fresh vehicle in here, unlike many of them which have all been fam familyed, which uh, you get kids and dogs and everything, and the car's messy, but that's a nice tidy example in the back there. Those seats look like they all move independently. Flat uh, floor pan on this, so you can virtually walk up and down through the center you'll see there's no uh, transmission tunnel running through the back there okay the carpets in good order again there's more storage space popping popped around all over this uh, car like so little drawer there storage bit deep pockets four electric windows electric mirrors 
driver's seat's in really good order. No rips, tears or anything to report there. Okay, um, this one's got the six-speed gearbox. Let's just close the door and foot on the brake and just press the start and stop button. And there we go. Car fires up absolutely perfectly. Now it has got this beautiful center console giving you uh, rev counter, speedo and uh, general uh, information about the vehicle. Uh, climate air conditioning, uh, radio CD player, Bury hands-free kit, multi-purpose hands-free kit, just buy the cradle that you want. The passenger seats in good order as well. There's the, all the manuals and books are present and correct. And there's a Bury hands-free kit uh, cradle in there. I'm not sure which one it's for, but it's probably unlikely to be the one that you've got, but you can just get hold of it. Right, let's check out what we've got here. So uh, that's your cruise control. There's your indicators and light switch. Cruise control settings. Uh, cruise control on and off and fingertip control hi-fi with source and tuning features on there as well so electronic handbrake there which automatically disengages when you go to move so we're just moving slightly there and that just automatically comes off which is a nice touch tells you that the parking brake is off over there the clutch feels absolutely perfect really nice pedal bites perfectly nowhere on that clutch any significant wear to report Okay, um, washers, wipers, windscreen, obviously everything works as it should. Okay, and the rear wiper, as you can see, working in the mirror there. There we go, with the washer. Okay. Um, mirrors, vanity mirrors, and spectacles case, and all the rest of it. Actually, a little mirror there, which is quite nifty. Keep an eye on the kids in the back. Sorry, it's not a spectacles case, it is a small mirror. And again, sun visor there. Okay, just pull that on to apply the brake, and it says braking on. Okay, the car's idling absolutely perfectly. Really spot on. Not sure if I did that front offside tyre, so just run around that one. Um, yeah, it's about uh, about three, about two mil off the wear bar there, so about 30%, 35% to go. Okay, uh, I think I noticed one small dimple dent in the door around this side. Difficult to see it, yeah, it's just there. It's very, very minor. Hardly notice that at all. Light scuff to the rear bumper there as well. And bar for that little bit of rubbing strip. Interior, I would say, is a good nine out of 10. And the exterior, uh, I'd give it a good seven out of 10. Just a final bit, bit of detailing would uh, wouldn't go amiss but then again as a family car with this sort of mileage it's generally what you'd expect the engine's perfect mechanically it's spot on okay the mileage on it uh, I think is a hundred or so uh, that's uh, cruise control service in 13,000 miles time uh, da -da -da, average that's the range average of 34 mpg I think they will do about 40 uh, 48 mpg these and the mileage is 106.859 as of today. So there we go. Turn her off, press the stop button. That's all in good order around the gear knob. Six speed box, which is what you want. Very easy drive for, as a good family car. Hard adjustable driver's seat, all the usual bit. So there we go. I'll leave you with that shot. Thanks very much for watching. Hope it's been some use to you. Bye bye.